Hey everyone, this is Ravnius Blog, and this is the first time I'll be doing this type of video, but I'm going to be doing my best and worst moments of 2017 in movies and television. And before I get into this video, I would like to remind everyone that new videos will be posted up every Sunday. It could be Sunday morning, Sunday night, or Sunday evening, depending on when I can get the videos posted up. And if you haven't seen any videos posted up during the week, that must mean there was a bit of TV show or movie news released during the week that I wanted to cover. So those would be considered special videos. And every Monday, I would have the um, TV episode roundup series where I go over all the TV episodes I review for the week. And I go from worst pick of the week to best pick of the week. So those would be posted up every Monday. So now, um, I'm doing this new video series called The Best and Worst Moments of This Year. And I have decided to do The Best and Worst Moments of 2017 in, in terms of movies and TV shows. So let's get started with the best thing that happened this year. Uh, some of the best things that happened this year. Um, so, And this is in no particular order. So the first thing we got is the Wonder Woman movie. So the reason why this is one of the best things to happen out of 2017 is because it was like one of the first female superhero movies that did very well. Like um in the past, they have made some female superhero movies and most of them didn't do that well. But um then we have Wonder Woman, which came out this year and it did so well. Um Gail Gadot did such a good job portraying Wonder Woman and I think the writing and the direction was so fantastic. Um And again, um, Wonder Woman was that superhero Hero, um, movie that's led by female that like gives uh, us hope that you know there could be um, better female led superhero movies and I think this movie really proves that and um, again we get um, a good portrayal of Wonder Woman herself as a character in this movie so I like the fact that we have a Wonder Woman movie that's very well portrayed and I think this movie did a good job so that's um, definitely a positive thing for this year is the Wonder Woman movie and then the second thing I wanted to talk about is the sexual harassment in Hollywood open people's eyes. So um, this also ties in with the worst thing that happened this year. But the reason why I say that the sexual harassment like um, is uh, part of the best things on Hollywood is um, more like um, the sexual harassment accusations that's going on or allegations that's going on in Hollywood. It's like making people open their eyes to seeing what's going on in Hollywood and um, how they can like try to change the... Um, the ways that um, Hollywood is being done in the workplace. And I think um, because of all these sexual allegations going on uh, towards various actors, it would help people realize, you know, we got to do something about this. We can't let this go on any longer. You know, we don't know why Hollywood um, has this thing, you know, let this thing go on notice. So now we're going to try to do something about it. And we're going to try to um, make the workplace better for women and for everybody in general. And, you know, put down, you know, the sexual harassment that's going on in Hollywood. So that's one of the positive things about the sexual harassment um, allegations going on throughout Hollywood is that it opened people's eyes about what was going on. And hopefully in the near future, you know, um, Hollywood would do something to like stop all these sexual harassments and actually try to um, make the work place better for everybody then the last best thing that happened this year is spider-man homecoming so what was so good about this um it finally um allows spider-man to be back in the marvel cinematic universe because sony made this deal with um, marvel that says you know you could borrow um spider-man for some of your movies <coughs> excuse me and um we can still have the rights to Spider-Man, but you could go ahead and use Spider-Man for your movie. So now we finally get Spider-Man in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And um, I hope we see more Spider-Man in the um, Marvel Cinematic Universe in future movies. So now let's move on to the neutral or in the middle type of news that um, moments that happen in this year. And the first one is Brian, Mike Brian Michael Bendis um, goes to DC Comics. And... Um, I'm surprised that this became a big news for this year because, for one thing, uh, I would say Brian Michael Bendis is, Brian Michael Bendis is like uh, one of the few writer comic book writers to get um so many tweets on Twitter. Like um he was like one of the highest um tweets on Twitter, which surprised me because normally a lot of comic book writers don't get a lot of um don't rate very highly on tweet on, on Twitter that much when it comes to tweets. But um his was um the most surprising because he got the most tweets and um. Um, I think it's because he has, um, his works have a lot of influence over Marvel. Like, he was responsible for, uh, I think, starting up the ultimate U uh, Marvel Universe with his ultimate Spider-Man run. And then he created the character Miles Morales for the um, Spider-Man Universe. So, um, he had some 
um, a lot of stories that really changed the face of Marvel Universe. And I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if he does things over at DC that's going to change a lot of what DC is. So um, I am interested to see uh, where his work is going to go at this point. Now, the reason why this is kind of in the middle for me is because... Um, you know, it all depends on how you feel about Brian Michael Bendis's work as a whole. Like for me, I only read the first two um, it, uh, volumes of his run of Ultimate Spider-Man, so I um, only know a little bit about what he can write. And I did enjoy the first two volumes of Ultimate Spider-Man, but um, I have been hearing that a lot of people either have a love or hate relationship with his work. Like um, some of his works, like Ultimate Spider-Man, are um, heavily praised. Um, some of his works, like All New X-Men, is kind of controversial with a lot of fans. Some fans liked it. Some fans hated his run on Ultimate uh, on All New X-Men. So um, it all really depends on how you feel about Brian Michael Bendis' um, works in on um, comics in general. You know, do you like his work? Do you hate this work? That's why this news is in the middle. Um, another news that's in the middle is Disney. Um, purchases or Disney buys on um, Fox properties and TVs and movies. Um, so now what happened this year is that this apparently Disney's going to acquire um, Fox's properties and movies and TV shows. And I say apparently because, um, you know, the government hasn't really, um, um, approve of this yet as of this video. Um, so we have to see what's going to happen with that next year. Um, but yeah, this was big news this year because, um, um, you know, now that Disney has some of Fox's movies and TV shows, that means we're going to get X-Men and Fantastic Four into the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So I, I'm really interested to see how they're going to um, incorporate the X-Men and Fantastic Four into the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And I think Marvel can handle those characters very well, in my personal opinion. Um, now, here's where the you know, the bad thing or the um, controversial thing really happens. And um, it's that in my opinion, you know, it could mean that Disney's that close to becoming a monopoly, you know, with them um, taking over some of Fox's um, movie and TV show properties. So that's my um, biggest concern about all this. But um, this was also in the middle because it all depends on how you feel about Disney in general and how you feel about Disney um, buying um, Fox's, some of Fox's properties and movies and TV shows. And um, I heard some people have been complaining about, well, if Disney gets hold of the, of the X-Men, then... Um, <clears throat> excuse me, then um, they're going to make the X-Men lighter and softer. We don't want to see that. So that was some of the complaints I've heard about Disney possibly acquiring the X-Men is that they're going to make them lighter, softer. Same thing goes with Deadpool too. You know, what is Disney going to do with Deadpool, especially since Deadpool is rated R as like one of the more mature superhero films out there. So I am curious to see what um, Disney's going to do with those two properties once they get their hands on it. So um, that's, um, again, it. Um, neutral type of news, so it all depends how you feel about Disney as a whole. Okay, so now let's move on to the worst things that happened this year. So, of course, the first thing that's major that happened this year was the sexual allegations going on in Hollywood. Now, I mentioned the best part that the best thing about this is that it opens people's eyes into what's going on in Hollywood and how they can change it. But at the same time, it's also the worst thing to happen um, this year in Hollywood because um, some people's, um, some of the actors that were accused of sexual allegations, um, I can't really um, name them all because there's so many of them that were, um, <coughs> excuse me, that had um, sexual allegations against them. Um, but it caused a lot of people to be like so. Um, discouraged it caused a lot of people to be so upset and um shocked at what happened and um even with me you know when i heard all these sexual allegations going against certain actors and act um, certain actors i was like oh no this can't be happening and you know how am i going to watch this person's movies the same way again and then i can't help but worry you know what's this going to do with the the respective movies and the um tv shows and the companies itself you know with this person being fired from the companies you know um what's going to happen to the movies where they go downhill as a result with the TV shows being canceled, you know, we don't know what's going to happen. So there's a bit of uncertainty regarding this issue at times. And, um, I'm pretty sure there's going to be more sexual allegations going on next year in Hollywood. So I guess we have to wait and see where all this is going to lead up to, um, in 2018. But yeah, I say that's one of the worst things that happened this year because it disappointed a lot of people. And, you know, we don't know, we're going to look at these movies the same way again. 
then the second thing that happened that was the worst thing that happened this year was the Star Wars Last Jedi controversy. Now, I will admit I've never seen any of the Star Wars movies, so I don't really have an opinion on Star Wars itself. But um, there was this huge controversy going on with Star Wars The Last Jedi and about how they changed so many things from the original franchise that a lot of people weren't really happy with the changes that was going on in this movie. And I think there was even a petition going on line about, you know, that they should take this movie out of the um, franchise or out of um, continuity. So, yeah, there was a big controversy about Star Wars The Last Jedi. Like, some people liked it, some people hated it, you know, so it's kind of like a mixed bag for a lot of people. And then the last worst thing to happen this year was the Justice League box office bomb. So, um, again, this was another movie that was controversial with a lot of people. Some people liked Justice League, some people hated Justice League, but um, there was the box office numbers, and it didn't do that well, which is really bad for DC and Warner Brothers. So, um, it makes me wonder what's the future of the DC Cinematic Universe going to be with Justice League bombing. You know, would um, they have to start over again with their uh, movie slate? And I worry about that because what is going to happen to Wonder Woman? Because I feel like Wonder Woman was like one of the few DC movies um, of this day and age, or at least one of the few DC movies in the new cinematic universe that was doing so well, that was actually written very well. And I worry that they're going to take that out of continuity. But I don't see them really taking Wonder Woman out of continuity in um in honesty um but i hope that doesn't happen but yeah um seeing justice league bomb this year is pretty bad for looking pretty bad for the dc and um warner brothers itself so i hope um things turn out better and um for the dc cinematic universe in the near future so that's my best and worst moments of 2017 and movies and TV shows. And tell me in the comments below, what are some of your best moments and your worst moments in 2017 regarding movies and TV shows? Please feel free to comment below and don't forget to follow me on Twitter so I can keep you updated on any new videos I post up. And also, like my fa Facebook page. Well, hope you enjoyed this video. This is Ravity's Blog. I'll see you later.